Hello friends, in this video I shall take up an amazing oral addition and subtraction problem. I have written it uh, oral addition here because uh, if you have negative integers then obviously it becomes a problem of subtraction. So I will write uh, subtraction also so that you don't get uh, confused. Now as you can see on the board the numbers written here are in multiple thousands and uh, if you want to subtract all these, I have taken four uh, integers in each uh, question and we need to solve all these questions very very quickly in order to you know succeed in competitions like SSC, CGL and clerical grade um, you know clerical aptitude tests all these type of calculations are asked um, many questions are there in every paper so how do you calculate all these things I am sure uh, the traditional method which we follow for getting to the answer of these questions is basically identifying all the positive numbers, adding them up and then identifying all the negative numbers, adding them up and then subtracting the two results. Now that is I think 99 out of 100 people will do that only, right? But this video is uh, really special because I'm not going to do it through traditional method. Now this is something I want you to master and I'm sure this is going to uh, save a lot of time in competitions. But don't uh, tell me that uh, I have taken 10 minutes or 15 minutes to explain the method, right? If I want to explain the method and the steps involved in getting to the answer quickly, then obviously I'll consume more time, right? But uh, everything requires practice. And even uh, this method, if you want to master it, you have to solve 70, 80 or 100 questions um, sitting 3 to 4 hours a day. And then uh, I think that will be the stage when you will say to yourself, let the question be uh, containing any number of uh, integers. I will do that in a single step. No traditional calculations. Let's see the method first. Be very careful. You should know single digit integer addition and subtraction and that is very easy like 3 minus 8 is minus 5 uh, 5 minus 7 is minus 2 that's all that is the basic knowledge you should have to solve all these questions in one step or maybe two steps but not by writing one below the other so let's see how you do this now see the maximum number of digits in this question 3 2 3 3 so we have maximum number of digits is 3 so what we do is, I just equate the number of digits, even if you don't equate it, you can do it, but I am doing that equating part just to tell you the method, okay. But once we, uh, you know, start with higher examples, we don't need to do this step also, okay. So three digits, now three digits, three digits and three digits, so I put a zero just to equate the number of digits. Now let's see the unit digits. I am doing it as if I have only one digit in every number that is the unit digit. So 6 minus, this is the minus sign here. So 6 minus 8 is minus 2 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0 and minus 3. 0 minus 3 is minus 3. So what I have done is I have added or subtracted whatever sign is there in between. I will add or subtract according to that sign. I have taken only the unit digit of every number. So 6 minus 8 is minus 2, minus 2 plus 2 is 0 and 0 minus 3 is minus 3. So what I do is I will write minus 3 in the first step that is starting from the right hand side. Okay, let's see the next one. This is 7 minus 8. 7 minus 8 is minus 1 plus 3. Minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2 and plus 2 minus 0 is plus 2 itself. So you get the number 2. Now let's have the final number. So this is 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5 and 5 minus 3 is 2. So now I have 3 numbers and very easy. Even if you get a 2 digit number, don't worry. I'll take up that those kind of examples also. Okay, now let's do the borrowing part. See, this is a negative number. So, a negative number less than 10. So, what I need to do is, if this number is less than 10 and a negative number, then I borrow one from the 
previous one. So this becomes 2, I give 1 from here to here. As a result, this becomes n minus 3. And here is your answer, 2, 1, 7. Very easy, right? Just the following part is a little bit tricky, but I am sure solving these six questions, you will be through with the method and I am sure you are going to like this video. Now let's see the second question. You can pick up the calculator and do it. I am sure the answer is going to be alright. Let's see. Four digits, four digits, four digits and three digits. So I will put a zero here. Even if I don't put a zero, it's fine. Okay, six minus nine is minus three. Minus three plus three is zero. Zero minus one is minus one. So I have a minus one. Let's see the next one. Four minus eight is minus four. Minus four plus eight is, okay, four. And four minus five is again minus one. Next, one minus four is minus three. Minus 3 plus 8 is 5 and 5 minus 2 is 3 and finally 6 minus 2 is 4 plus 0 obviously 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. So here I have the 4 numbers. Now let's borrow 1 from here. This becomes 10 minus 1 and if I borrow 1 from here, this is already minus 1 and I have to borrow 1 from here. So this becomes minus 2. And 3 and 1. So this is 9. Again a negative number. So I borrow 1 from here. This becomes 10 minus 2, 8. Okay, I'll write it for you. 10 minus 2. And this becomes 2. And this is obviously 1. So here is the answer. 9. This is 8. Uh, okay. Then we have a 2 and a 1. So 1, 2, 8, 9 is the sum or difference. Whatever you call it. You know the simplified form of this. So how much time you are going to take to solve this question in this way? I think one for the time you do it through the traditional method. Want me to do more questions, right? So let's see this one. Four digits, four digits, four digits and two digits. So I don't bother about putting zeros now because I, because I don't want to get into that step. I know that this is only a two digit number. So obviously the third digit from the right hand side will be zero and the fourth digit will also be zero. So that is a very obvious uh, step uh, which you can skip right now and now you can carry on with the method in the traditional uh, manner in which we are doing the first and second question likewise. So this becomes 5 minus 6 is minus 1 and then minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5 and plus 6 minus 5 plus 6 is obviously 1. So, when you get a positive number, your steps become further lesser. Let's see the next one. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 minus 8. <clears throat> now, 2 minus 8 is minus 6. And minus 6 plus 7 is obviously 1. Now, next digit 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. Now, again, see, we are getting all positive numbers. So, 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And obviously we don't have a third digit here so that remains 3 and finally this is the fourth digit so 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4. Now see when all the digits are positive then your answer is that itself so the answer becomes 4, 3, double, 1. So this is the answer of this question. Now let's see this one. Now see now the numbers are exceeding uh, 10,000. Here we had numbers below 10,000. Now here as large as 84,000. We are taking very very large numbers to apply this method now. So let's see uh, how, how speedily we can do this also now. So 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. So we have a 9 here. Next digit 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. Next 8 minus 2 is 6 plus 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. So all positive numbers again. So 2 minus 7. 2 minus 7 is minus 5 and uh, minus 3. Minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8. And finally we have the fifth digit. So 1 and nothing here. So 1. 
So let's see. Now this nine comes as it is, six comes as it is, seven comes as it is. This becomes ten minus eight, and this one becomes one lesser. So that is zero. Thereby giving you the <coughs> answer of this question. This is ten minus eight, two, seven, six, nine. See the speed with which we are calculating that without uh, writing the numbers one below the other. So traditional method vanishes here, and you have a new method up your sleeves to uh, crack all the competitive exams very comfortably. So let's see one more. Three minus four is minus one plus six is five. Five minus four is one. So we have the one here. So four minus eight is minus four. Minus four plus six is plus two. Plus two minus two becomes zero. Then we have a seven minus six, which is one. One plus two is three. Three minus six is minus three. Next six minus nine is minus three. Minus three plus one is uh, minus two. Minus two minus five is minus seven. And finally we have three minus uh, okay plus one four four minus one which is three. So all digits are here. Now we can calculate the answer. So one and zero. These will be intact. Now minus three. What happens to minus three? This we have to carry one from here. This becomes ten minus three, and this becomes one lesser. This is minus eight. So three. So what comes next? So one zero. Ten minus three becomes seven, and uh, Further here also we have to carry one, so this becomes ten minus eight, and this three becomes two. So what's the answer? Two. This is uh, two again, and then seven zero one. So twenty two thousand seven zero one is the answer of this question. See step. So uh, students, I'm writing one, two, three, four steps to get to the answer. But as you practice, you can skip many steps. Rather, you can write only one or two steps and get to the answer. So let's see one more, and then we will conclude this. See this. Three minus one is two. Two plus six is eight. Minus five. Eight minus five is three. So let's have the next one. Nine minus one is eight. Eight plus zero is eight. Eight minus nine is minus one. Next, nine minus two is seven. Plus seven plus uh, two is nine. And nine minus nine is zero. Then we have four minus three is one, plus three is four. Four minus eight is minus four, and finally eight minus six is two. Two plus four is six, and here we have nothing, so this is six. So let's write from here. So this is three. Uh, this is ten minus one and zero. If you borrow one from this, zero minus one becomes minus one. So minus four and six. So in the next step we have three. Ten minus one becomes nine, and here minus one again. Now borrow one. So this is ten minus one, and minus four becomes minus five, and finally we have this six. And here is your answer. Now let's see three, nine, and ten minus one again nine. So if you borrow one from here, this will become ten minus five, which is five, and six becomes five. So fifty-five thousand nine hundred and ninety-three is the answer of this question. Oh, so friends, how uh, did you like this trick? I'm sure uh, you must be feeling that uh, traditional uh, plus and minus is little bit comfortable. I know uh, you have done that throughout your life, but give it a try. Just practice 70, 80 questions. Take one hour, two hours time, and I'm sure all these calculations, simple, uh, you know. Uh, Plus and minus is going to consume only one tenth the time you are consuming through the traditional method. So, if you like this video of uh, quick uh, addition and multiplication, addition and subtraction rather of uh, large integers, then uh, do share it with all those friends who are preparing for competitions and aspiring to clear them in first uh, attempt. And uh, do not forget to subscribe the channel for more such useful uploads to come in future. Also, thanks for watching this video.